Go Dave. He's admiring the art. <gasps> My hair has absolutely ascended. I feel like I am straight out of a glam metal music video. I feel like I have to randomly yell Panama. <laughs> Who does Panama? Is that is that Van Halen? I think. Panama. Let me move this. Hi. How you doing? Hey y'all, it's Butters. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic day full of positivity and happiness as always. <laughs> and for today's video, I decided I'm gonna press record, see what happens. I'm gonna show y'all some things that have made me happy recently. Gonna play some COD. Panama. Allergies also hit me like a ton of bricks yesterday, so if I sound nasally, that'll do it. But today we play COD. I hope you're doing well. Drink some water. Let's start the video strong. I didn't refill my water. I only have a little bit. Oh no. Still lovely though. We're jumping into the gameplay in a bit, but I have to show you all my butter pillow. This is very- it looks so big on camera! <laughs> this is my butter pillow. I got it at a consignment store, and it makes me very happy. Oh, sorry. I moved you. It's a giant butter pillow. I have another one of these in the living room. It's a big pillow. It makes me happy. And that's all I've got. This makes me very happy. Very good. I'm going to put it up now. Yellow is my favorite color. Can you tell? <gasps> I don't know why. <laughs> I forgot. I want to tell y'all. Atlanta Faze, my team, you know, they're pretty great. They won Major 2. And I just wanted to give them a quick shout out because it was a really good card to watch. And it made me really happy. So, yay. Go Atlanta Faze. That's the team I'm a part of, if you guys don't know. Yeah, uh, Atlanta Phase. Very excited about that. I'll leave all of the Atlanta Phase stuff down below if you guys want to go check them out and say hi uh, and congratulate them for winning because they're all extremely good at the video game and scary. Speaking of video game, let's hop in and play, shall we? Here we are back on some COD. What was I doing last night? I don't remember. I have all my marksman rifles ready to unlock gold and platinum and whatnot. Um, oh, I was leveling this, right. I have not been using double weapon XP tokens because I'm saving them for a rainy day, like with my launchers, but I don't know. Today's pretty cloudy. <laughs> Is the Lockman 556. We'll be fine. I'm just gonna queue. Why? I was gonna work on my week in the life vlog. That is still coming out, I promise you. It'll probably be the next video after this. But uh, with a nasally voice, I wanted to do some voiceover work in the video. And to go from like normal Hannah voice to nasally voice that I have right now with my swollen sinuses, I don't like that juxtaposition. <laughs> you know, that's another favorite of mine. If you guys know me, actually, it's been a favorite for a while. I love the word juxtaposition. I don't know what it is. Let's play COD. I don't, this video is a mess already. Whenever I record random videos, it always puts me on this map, and this is my favorite map in this game. I'm excited, but is it good for this? I am stuck. I am not stuck. Oh, hello. Goodbye. <laughs> what do I have on this thing? It feels so weird. Is this a good class? No, I have three attachments. Whatever, we're just gonna play. Okay, this is a very good gun. It's it's me. I know it is. It's me in the class I have. I know this gun is very good. I just gotta build it right. I gotta level it, you know? Well, I guess while we're playing some hard point, I wanna show you all something really quick. Because this is genuinely zombie movie history, and it has affected me in a very good way. Have you guys seen these movies? Here we have 28 Days Later. Here we have 28 Weeks Later. I think 28 Days Later is the best zombie movie ever created. I will stand by that. So fun fact, I just got up. Yeah, buddy. I think some of y'all know this about me. I actually took a class in college called Horror Cinema, and it was a class that basically talked about the impact of horror movies in the cinematic universe, yes. Cinematic universe? No, just in the movie realm. We analyzed movies, like we got to analyze Halloween, which made me so happy. That's my favorite slasher of all time. The original one from 1978, by the way. Did you see my cat jump? Good job. I also love Texas Chainsaw, but anyways, we're talking zombie movies here. 28 Days Later, phenomenal. I did a full report on all of the themes in the movie. There's so many. What are you doing on the tractor? Are you okay back there? What? Uh, what, what is? Oh, oh, that's one of those things. Oh, why did you put that there? The next hard point. Get to hostile UAV He's whispering the sweet nothings to us. Very nice. Why? Wh who's gonna let you spawn there? Dana, Dave. Let's go, Dave. He's got the window. He's so good. But 28 Days Later, genuinely a cinematic masterpiece, in my opinion. Lots of commentary on society. There's genuinely so much that I cannot get into it in this video, but just know that I watched 28 Days Later and then 28 Weeks Later shortly after. And my gosh, 28 Days Later is so good. Fair warning. It's a little spooky. Um, I like scary movies, so take that with a grain of salt. Why are you on the ground? 
Okay, I <laughs> can you tell it's my first game on? I can't believe I got that kill. What is going on this game? Where these players are behaving oddly. But if you guys are looking for an extremely good zombie movie, um, I highly recommend 28 Days Later. I don't think it's streaming though. I had to borrow this copy off of somebody to watch it. So just a fair warning. If you want to see it, you might have to find a physical copy. But it's so worth it. You can find them at thrift stores, surprisingly. <gasps> I want to show you guys the thing I connected. Hold on. I have to be an objective player really quick. <laughs> I want to win this game. I can't get in the window! It's fine. I couldn't get in the window to be objective player. Oh my gosh. My inner objective player is itching. So as you guys probably know, I've been a little bit more into thrifting recently. And on one of my last trips, I was on my way out. I was getting a shirt, I think. And on my way out, I saw a jacket. And I was unsure if I wanted it, but it spoke to me. I actually ended up posting on my Instagram about it. I said, oh my gosh, do I buy this jacket? Because I have a jacket in this color, but like it has stars on the sleeves. I said, it's so cheesy. It's so me. I think I need it. And we are not playing this map. No. And thankfully, you guys voted yes. I mean, to be fair, if y'all voted no, I still would have picked it up anyways. <laughs> I'm defiant and chaotic like that, you know? <laughs> no, I'm not. I got the jacket and I loved it. Don't get me wrong, but I felt like I could make some improvements. So here's what I did. Are you ready? I cropped it. I cut off the bottom and it looks so good on and I love it so much. It's so good. I'm not gonna put it on now because it wouldn't go with the current ensemble. I'm wearing a denim vest and a hoodie. I'm gonna talk about this in a second, but I love this jacket so much. I wore it on my Instagram story. So I'll put in a picture right here if you wanna see what it looks like on. I love it. I'm obsessed. Yes, okay. And by the way, the jacket was $4 or $6. I don't know how much it was to be honest. It's not the class I wanna be using right now, but I am objective player. You cannot deny that. Objective player. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> okay. What are you using? I wanna see. Oh, Orion, guys, I unlocked Orion. Not clickbait, I did it, it's mine. What is that on the side? Wait, what is that? That's cool, I thought it was Blue Eyes for a second. Blue Eyes White Dragon for Yu-Gi-Oh? But no, it's not, but it looks like it. Once again, I am objective player and I don't know why. We don't need a triple cap. The ADS, did you see the ADS? It was slow as molasses. All right, I'm not using that. I don't even know what it was. Okay, now we're getting triple capped. What is going on? What is going on in COD today? It's only 4 o'clock p.m. These kinds of lobbies are early in the morning, like 3 a.m. <laughs> Hello. You're punished for moving in this game. I gotta remember that. The less you move, the better you do. And that's just not the way it should be, in my opinion. I said it. I said it. See, look at that. I do not move, and I get killed much easier. That was awkward. Sit, bastards. I got the UL. I mean, you could probably tell, but I'm still gonna say it anyway. <laughs> Death! <laughs> but I do wanna give a quick shout out to my hoodie really quick. Okay, so let me scoop back here comfortably. So this is a band hoodie. This is Scion. Scion is my buddy Jared Dine's group. He's doing this project with Howard Jones, who was in Kill Switch Engage. Oh my gosh, he dropped this hoodie and I got it, and I love it, and it's great, and Jared, you're doing great, and you're great. Yes. I've been listening to a whole bunch of Scion, and I highly recommend that you guys do too if you like metal music. Because not only is it good, it's also supporting my buddy, you know? Is it pronounced Scion? I looked up a couple of interviews before this to see if anybody really says the word Scion. Nobody does. So I'm going to assume it's it's Scion. I don't know. Like the car. There's a car that's a Scion, right? But it's S-C-I-O-N, whatever. Scion is a great group. Very good. Great music. I was blasting it on last stream when I was playing some Call of Duty. It was a great time. That plant? I'm sorry, did you guys see that plant? Oh, was it just a falling leaf? Oh, well, okay. That's good. I gotta level up this gun and change the attachments. I'm having a rough go, but you know what? It's okay. It's Call of Duty. Go Dave. He's admiring the R on the- <gasps> Not Dave. <laughs> I just realized I looked a little extra toxic. Just, just, oh, just destroying him like that and shooting his body. But he destroyed Dave, okay? I have to defend Dave's honor. Please forgive me, but it was Dave. I look away. Is this? Nope. Nope. 
Nope. Nope. And we're good. <laughs> How does that happen in this game? I don't know. At least we won. Victory! Two other things I want to talk about really quick. Um, so I thrifted a bag. The stream has seen it. You all have not. I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. What? Why, Hannah? Why did you get that? Because it's a French purse. What is this on here? Oh my god, spicy ketchup! <gasps> I have a story. Ah, no, why is it still on this freaking bag? So, I went to Whataburger about a week ago. And I'm gonna tell y'all right now, I don't like spicy ketchup. I tried it and I think it's awful. Sorry, if you like it, that's great. I think it's for certain people. I could not stand it. I did not like it. And that is a-okay. I also do not like pickles. I actually hate pickles with a burning passion. Even saying the word pickles makes me so mad and I don't know why. But I was at Whataburger about a week ago and I thought, okay, I don't like spicy ketchup, but some of my friends who come through might like spicy ketchup because the people who like spicy ketchup, they love spicy ketchup. I saw him walk around the corner with that shotgun. It was just, it was a lost cause. I <laughs> got this game. This game may, I can't even complete a thought. This game may not be making me very happy at the moment, but at least I am surrounded by things that do. For example, the movie 28 Days Later. I can't even see anybody. It's, it's fine. My patience is being tested here. It's really being tested. It's impressive. I have gotten so many assists. Nope, I'm out. See ya. <laughs> nope, not today. What is that back there? Is there somebody back? Get me off the wall. Who? You're so close to me. I could not. Did you see me slide around the corner? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, we're, we're queuing again. Uh, anyway, so I was going to, I went to Whataburger. People who like spicy ketchup, they really like spicy ketchup. So I thought, I'm going to have a couple packs at my house in case somebody has the craving for spicy ketchup. But little did I know what that gesture would do. The spicy ketchup leaked in my bag. It didn't even bust open. It leaked. There was barely any spicy ketchup in my bag. And guess what? My entire bag stunk like spicy ketchup. And my God, it's one of the worst smells I've ever smelled in my entire life. How do you like eating spicy ketchup? I am so glad that we all think differently. I'm glad that our taste buds are all different. That is wonderful. But oh my gosh, spicy ketchup. If I smell it, I want to scream. I'm in a mood today. I'm feeling very chaotic. Sorry, not sorry. Is it the hair? I don't know what it is. Drink some water. I don't know. Whatever. Spicy ketchup. Long story short, I got this purse and I love it very much. It's very loud and very rock star and it's fringy and fun. But I got it at Goodwill and guess how much I bought it for? Go ahead. Take your guesses. Go ahead. Go ahead. Are you ready? $5. Five. Excuse me. I burped. I was so excited. $5 for this? Are you kidding me? It's got a big old strap. I love this thing so much. My life has changed because of this bag. Too bad I still got some spicy ketchup on it. I scrubbed the heck out of it. I, it don't smell like spicy ketchup no more on the inside, but apparently there's a little bit on the outside. Drill charges. Flash grenades. You see, I just did not mean to do that, but it worked out in my favor. Yeah, I bought a bag and a lot of games. Pretty much all I want to say. What else do I want to talk about? You know, Dave. You're so good at the video game. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. Why is he standing on? He's not even standing on anything. Well, um, I tried to feed Poe a little bit ago. Um, he didn't want to eat. I have a pet snake, Poe. Um, yeah, he didn't want to eat, so that was sad. I tried feeding him last week as well. Didn't want to eat then. That's okay. We'll try again next week. I picked up a pistol. Very good. He's a good snake. I think he's just about to go into shed. And when he goes into shed, he doesn't want to eat because it's not very comfortable. But it is what it is. Uh, I've been playing a lot of Animal Crossing recently. I'm an objective player. I I shoot in the... What is... I... Ooh. I can hardly see who's in the car. <laughs> he's up there. Do you see him? <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. He's, he's doing his best, though. Shit. Remember, Hannah, don't jump. Movement is no good in this game. Remember that. Objective player. Hello? <laughs> I feel like my bullets disappear with this gun pretty often. Oh, 
Okay. Okay. In there, Dave. Oh, Dave. Dave. Help, Dave. Dave, he's in there. Do you see? He's so good at the video games. Go, Dave. Why is Dave one of the best additions to Call of Duty? I mean, he's not, but he is. <laughs> I'd like an explanation. I really would. Like that. Movement is not good in this game. Victory. Yay. Excuse me. Movement is good in this game. It's just been slowed down quite a bit. I got play of the game or final kill. But jump shot. Very good. Um, yeah. No, this game is actually good. I like this game. I just, I feel like I have to get used to it every single time I play it though. What level is this gun? 14 out of 20. You know, honestly, that ain't half bad. For not popping double XP and talking to y'all. I'm okay with that. I do have one more thing that I want to show you all that's made me so happy. It was my birthday recently, and I got gifted a pair of boots. Um, I love boots. These boots are really nice. Are you ready? They're dogs, but they have little flower buckles, and they're so chunky and fun. And yes, I am touching the bottom of my boot because I can wash my hands. But I love these. I had a pair of docs that were okay, and then I tried these on at the Doc Martin store, and I fell in love with them and I wanted them. So here they are. They are mine now. What's the model number of them? Hold on. These are the Doc Martens Devon Flower Buckle Leather Platform Boots. So there you go. I'll leave a link down below if you guys want to check them out. But I think they're so cool. I like boots. I, yes, these are mine now. And I think that's pretty much everything I want to talk about today. I don't know. I just wanted to share some stuff that's made me happy because, you know, sometimes you just got to count your blessings. Now I'm going to drink me some more water. I'm going to go wash the spicy ketchup that is apparently still on my purse. I'm going to scream. This video is a little chaotic, but hey, it was super cathartic and fun to record. So I hope you guys uh, don't mind. And uh, Week in the Life vlog will probably be next uh, once my sinuses clear up a bit. And uh, I appreciate you stopping by for the video. Like, comment, please subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video of whatever I make. Bye 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 Also, if I have any other links uh, that I could put down below, I'll let you know. Most of everything's been thrifted, so it's kind of hard for me to, you know, provide links to purchase this stuff because I've just kind of found it locally. Um, but, yeah, I have, I have allergies. I have the sniffles. I don't like it, and I'm going to go now. Bye!